through like love hate relationships with guitars i kind of do sometimes you know there's a rule i've heard people say uh well there's a couple of rules i've heard people say uh treat others how you want to be treated no uh the rule i've heard people say about guitars is never sell any guitars um because you you inevitably regret selling certain guitars there's always one that got away so to speak my buddy michael brent one time told me um uh, just keep the great one, keep the ones you love, sell the ones you like, you know, something like that. And, um, I think that's really good advice. The other advice I also think is good advice is once you get tie, once you decide to sell a guitar, don't play it, put it in the case, put it away. That is a good, um, that's good advice if you're selling something because you need money and you don't want to convince yourself to keep it or you don't want to cry about it. You'll cry about it later. And then we get back to rule number one, never sell any guitars, right? Because there's one that got away or one that you couldn't keep or whatever. But for me, the most perplexing kind of thing about guitar is that sometimes there's these guitars that you have like this love-hate relationship with. You buy it because you're in a mood and you think you need a thing like a Floyd and like a guitar that's like electric blue. Especially when you have a guitar that you've already called blue. It feels nice to have something that's like electric blue. Especially when you're like, oh, they're opposites in so many ways, you know? It's like the girl you bring home to your mother. The girl you... And, you know, different strokes, different folks, you know? I always see people playing guitars that look like this and they just sound tremendous. And I think a guitar like this can sound tremendous. Um, but I really was like, eh, I'm over it. It's it's cool. You know, I'm, I'm, I, and I was just like doing a hate thing. I was like, I like tinted necks. This one's too light. What's with all the plastic? Electric blue, I was fine with the other blue, right? It's like, eh, I don't love these pickups, you know? But it does a thing, right? And it's like, it does the Floyd thing, right? It's like, how else are you gonna do this? <laughs> going to do that you could do that on your strat you'll break a string you'll be out of tune you know so it has its its place but i took this guitar out on a sunday and i just couldn't jive with it you know what i mean it was like i was doing all my all my worshipy things you know like i was going uh i was over here and i'm just like <laughs> Honestly, it sounds fine in this context. Like, I don't hate it, but it was just like too pokey. You know, it was like a little too scooped. It just wasn't this, you know? But then I get back here and I put it in another context, you know? Like, I put it in context of this amp. And without this guitar, I wouldn't have realized how much I like this Matchless Brave, which was kind of the whole point of a video that I did, uh, the last video I did before this, which was just like, Hey, check out his new amp. It's like this whole reveal of the Matchless Brave and stuff. You know, hit play it. You know, we're coming out with it. Yada, yada. You know the story. So, um, but then I sit down with this thing, right? 
And I come back and I play something like this and I go, man, this is actually a really great single coil sound, you know? But then I realized like, well, that's really good, but I don't, it's a little too sizzly. So I just change the speaker. And so now it's that same profile, but with this H speaker, the heavier magnet greenbacks, it's really the same speaker, but heavier magnet and uh, uh, different, uh, different, um, well, different everything. So it's actually not the same speaker, but they call it a greenback also until they stopped calling it a greenback. <laughs> That's cool. I don't want to sell this guitar. You put on a little chorus on it. That's a little bit inspiring, you know what I mean? Even if I'm gaffing it up, right? It's like, okay, well, wait a minute. It's like you get changed the way you're thinking about things, right? So all of a sudden it's like. Oh, okay, you know, it's like. It's a whole palette of tones. I wasn't really, you know, I don't even know how to, what riffs to play with it. But I hear it's a different sound. It sounds like other people that aren't me. And it goes like, is, do I hate a guitar because I just want to change the speaker? Do I hate a guitar because I just didn't try a little different style with it? Do I hate a guitar because I didn't put on the chorus right away? And I don't know, man. But I really do dig, um, I dig tone and I dig sound. And all of a sudden you just walk into one. It's like, that's awesome. See, so it's like you just gotta. 
There you go. Do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the point is, that's just I'm that's just like Oh, well, let's write a new thing, Let, right? Like, let's write the, th oh, that could be, I'll, I'll turn this into a little Instagram jam. That's a cool tone. How am I getting that? H2, with this guitar, on this position, I got a little chorus on. It up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll practice it a little bit and I'll put it on Instagram tomorrow as like my my daily, you know, Instagram tone of the day. Check me out. Follow me on Instagram. Anyway, love, hate, relationship with guitar. I've got one with this guitar. Was going to sell it. Now I don't want to sell it at all. I'm going to sell something else instead. Like this guy. Just kidding. I'll never sell that. You're going to bury me with it. Actually, I'll, I'll let one of my sons have it. Or my daughter. She might play guitar. She's only a year old, so I'm used to saying my sons. But I should say I will let one of my my kids have it. I have been HW. Thanks so much for watching Tone Jiggy TV. Like, subscribe. We just hit 40K. Thanks.